This view is from a live streaming Osprey webcam coming to you from a nesting platform near Canmore. Usually customers and even our employees see all the nests from the ground we get, and we sort of see the bird poking out but we don't get to see actually what goes on inside the nest so we thought it'd be a really cool idea to show the world you know a close-up view of nature the birds you know building a nest and raising their chicks and ultimately you know the chicks learning to fly and feed themselves and all that stuff. The pre-constructed nesting platforms discourage nesting on energized power poles. They're engineered using specialized wood from Southeast Asia. Probably as of right now, we have about 40 birds of prey platforms um, throughout our service territory, and that's from Waterton Park up to the Bow Valley and all the way as far north as Lac -Labish. The energy company works closely with Alberta Sustainable Resource Development to decide the best locations for the platforms. Birds and animals coming into contact with power lines cause roughly 20% of our outages every year. Um, that can be, you know, birds contact energized components or, uh, you know, an energized and a grounded component of a power line or sometimes colliding with power lines. Um, we do have mitigation programs to address all those types of scenarios and actually um, uh, bird, bird cause outages are on the decline in the past few years. One of the critical components of our avian protection plan is that we do um, risk assessment for bird electrocutions and collisions throughout our, service out throughout our service territory. So the mitigation work that we do is really targeted to high risk areas. So where there are, for example, migration corridors or nesting areas of certain birds. Um, so we're really able to be targeted and focus on those areas. Although fairly new, Fortis wants to see this initiative continue for years to come. For Go Calgary, I'm Lisa Walansky.